Well, it turns out that Marcia Lucas, ex-wife of George Lucas and original editor of Star Wars, you know, the one all the talentless YouTubers can't stop monotonously video essaying about as they allege she single-handedly saved Star Wars. Yeah, well, don't look now, but the Star Wars Reddit's Muff Messiah done dunked on Disney Wars. Namely, in the foreword she wrote to a book on the life and career of Howard Kazanjian written around the time of The Last Jedi. And if you claim the only critics of that cockshit were gamer gating, woman throwing troglodytic dick mongers, secure yourself to a stable surface. Some of this shit is gonna trigger more than a fucking flashback. And I quote, they think it's important to appeal to a women's audience. So now their main character is this female who's supposed to have Jedi powers, but we don't know how she got Jedi powers or who she is. It sucks. The storylines are terrible. Terrible. Just awful. <laughs> now where have I heard that one before? <laughs> And that's the narrative of The Force Awakens in a nutshell. Nothing at all is ever earned. Not romantic investment, not combat ability, and as per the protagonist of this film, not even affinity for the Force. Five minutes into encountering her first Sith, Rey is not only expertly repelling his psychic advances, but effortlessly turning Jedi mind tricks to evade Imperial capture? Yeah, but what? And don't give me because of her parentage, as many have suggested she might be Luke's kid. Look, not even Luke knew the Force could be used for persuasion until Ben Kenobi busted out the jazz hands and Mos Eisley, and he's Darth Vader's kid! So how the fuck does Chia eyebrows the wonder cut know precisely in which manner she can utilize her fucking plot hole powers without training of any description? <laughs> She continues, they just don't get it. And J.J. Abrams is writing these stories. When I saw the movie where they kill Han Solo, I was furious. Absolutely, positively, there was no rhyme or reason to it. Now, to be fair to Marsha here, I don't know many words that rhyme with Abrams is a feckless fucking hack. The rant rolled on. I thought, you don't get the Jedi story. You don't get the magic of Star Wars. You getting rid of Han Solo? And then at the end of this last one, they have Luke disintegrate? They killed Han Solo? They killed Luke? Luke Skywalker and they don't have Princess Leia anymore and they're spitting out movies every year. <laughs> Not anymore, sweetie. Not unless you count some shit anime reboot. And are those saying Star Weebs is gonna revitalize the fucking franchise? I must now loosely quote a classic Simpsons episode. You're not making Star Wars better. You're making anime worse. So the Slatch who saved Star Wars is now saying gender powers and cringy character deaths killed this classic fucking franchise. Fuck! That sounds familiar. Weird, when I and many others said essentially the same words in different fucking English, we were all accused of misogyny so fast we could have dusted the flash in a fucking foot race. So essentially, provided you have a poon, you can state shit that's actually fucking true for once? What do I have to do, get reassigned? Let Dr. Dick Shank carve off my crank so I can tell an obvious fucking liar to go cartwheel in traffic? Somehow, I don't think that's the Wonka ticket either. Anyone who watched Bruce Jenner get canceled 15 minutes after after he was named Citizen of the Century for merely modeling his moose knuckle in Vanity Fair, all for the unpardonable sin of sharing the same oxygen as Donald Trump, knows that's a blatant butt fucking lie. So, how's about a compromise? I'll identify as a woman just long enough to tell Kathleen Kennedy to go shit in her hat. And speaking of steaming fucking falsehoods, can we cool it with Marsha Lucas, the savior of Star Wars saga already? Watch THX 1138 for fuck's sake. The movie George edited himself on a fucking flatbed editor back before he'd even seen this broad's bush, let alone allowed her to edit one of his movies. It's far and away the finest editing of Lucas's entire filmography and makes me wish he edited all his own shit, frankly. Look, I get that her role in the success of Star Wars is kind of a neat item of pop culture curio, and she certainly deserves credit for her contribution, but we're rapidly approaching the same point internet autists did ages ago with regard to the Kurosawa films like Hidden Fortress that Lucas ripped off. Oh no, ripped off? Not Kurosawa, ripping shit off and then never giving the creators credit? It's his fucking job! Dashiell Hammett's corpse called Akira, you know, the writer of Red Harvest. Yeah, he's wondering when he's getting a cut of the fistful of dollars royalties you demanded for a story you originally fucking stole, asshole. The only difference between Lucas and Kurosawa is Lucas gives actual credit when he fucking steals something. The one thing uh, about Hidden Fortress is it did influence me in doing Star Wars, because as I was beginning to uh, write the screenplay and put it together, um, I remembered Hidden Fortress, and I remembered 
uh, the one thing that really struck me about Hidden Fortress and I was really intrigued by was the fact that the story was told from the two lowest characters. I decided that that would be a nice way to tell the Star Wars story, which is to take the two lowliest characters, um, as Kurosawa did, and tell the story from their point of view, which in the Star Wars case is the two uh, droids. You heard that? Off in the distance? It's the sound of a thousand film school fucking dropout skulls exploding in unison. If I hadn't had my gender reassigned, I'd have a stiffy the size of a yard arm right now. But back to Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Now, she also said the prequel sucked, which I mean, fair enough. No one's fucking perfect. Not everyone understands, like I do, the subtle philosophical underpinnings of lines like, But Misa no have a booma! And try a Lucasfilm executive meeting shithead. Look, I love Star Wars. I love the Republic. The ranting I give you, I will lay down once this franchise crisis has abated. Which of course it never will, which means I am rantator for fucking life, pal. I'm Razor Fist. God fucking speed.